This video is about three point perspective, specifically um, bird's eye view. So bird's eye view will be seen from above. Buildings will look larger at the top and smaller at the bottom. With anything in perspective, the idea is that something that is closer to you looks larger and farther away looks smaller, okay? Um, so it's really similar to last time, like in two point perspective where like the corner of the building is the closest and one side of the building looks smaller towards the left, one side looks smaller to the right. Um, but now what's happening is also the top of the building is looking larger, the bottom is looking smaller. I'm also gonna do a worm's eye view for a castle. So at that one, it looks bigger on the bottom. Uh, the first thing you always wanna start with in perspective is a horizon line. Okay, so I'm just gonna start with, um, because I'm doing bird's eye view, your horizon line is kind of like your eye line, I want you to think of it as. So for the bird's eye view, I'm gonna do a horizon line up near the top. Okay, there's my horizon line. You wanna make sure and put two vanishing points on the end of this line. So I'm gonna put a little red vanishing point on this end and a little red vanishing point on this end. Make this guy a little bit bigger. <clears throat> All right, next thing I'm gonna do um, is I'm going to start drawing my buildings, okay? Um, the first thing you do is normally in two point perspective, you would start with a vertical line. Um, this time there's never a vertical line, okay? Instead, there are always lines down to your vanishing point three, which I forgot to draw. Let me draw on vanishing point three. All right, so vanishing point three can be anywhere on the bottom of your page or near the bottom of your page. That's gonna be my vanishing point three down there. Okay, um, so now I'm ready to start drawing my first building. The first thing I would wanna do Whenever you're drawing a building in bird's eye view, three point perspective, I'm gonna line up with my vanishing point three, which is this guy at the bottom, okay? Um, I guess these ones I'm just gonna to refer to as the left and the right vanishing point up there. All right, so I'm lined up with the bottom. Um, my first building, I'm gonna have it be below my horizon line, okay? Whenever you have a box below your horizon line, you're gonna see the top of it just a little bit, okay? Um, let me draw these next lines in a lighter color. Let me do this green so you guys can um, so you can see them, but then I can show you the lines that are supposed to stay and the lines that are supposed to get erased. So basically, I'm just going to take the top and bottom, connect them to the right and left vanishing points. So far, it's really similar to two-point perspective if you did two-point with me. So I'm going to line this guy up to my left vanishing point, connect it all the way there. Um, I'm actually using a vector tool, so I don't really need this ruler, but you guys will need the rulers every single time. You'll line your ruler up, connect. Line your ruler up, connect, okay? At this point, it'll start to look kind of like a pointing down sort of arrow. Now in two point perspective, what you would do if you were drawing a box under the horizon line is you just throw in a vertical, throw in a vertical, crisscross applesauce the top to opposite vanishing points. In three point perspective, remember that there are no verticals. There's only lines that go down to vanishing point three. So instead of a vertical, I'm gonna line my ruler up with vanishing point three at the bottom. I'm going to connect the top and bottom line of my building here. And I'm going to do the same on this left or on the right side. <clears throat> okay, I'm just going to draw a line from top to bottom. And we are pretty much set right now. Um, so that's like that's kind of what your building looks like in two-point perspective when it's below the horizon line. Um, on the top, you crisscross applesauce. That step is exactly the same in this project. So I'm going to take my top left corner of my building and I'm going to connect it all the way over here to the right. I'm going to take my top right corner of my building, connect it to the left. That's why we call it crisscross because you're going to opposite vanishing points. So first of all, I'm going to take my right to the left. And again, I'm using the vector, so I'm just going to go ahead and connect that. You guys can pause this if you need to. Do that with your rulers. All right. So basically, we've drawn in our first building. I'm going to go in with black, and I'm going to trace over the lines that should stay. Maybe. Come in. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna outline over all these lines that should stay in. Um, the rest of the lines should actually be erased, okay? Um, if you know that you wanna do like a street corner or something like that, you can actually trace over these ground lines here because uh, you might wanna draw another building that kind of hits on that same line and it'll prevent you from having to draw that bottom line again. Um, I think that I am gonna do it th that way where I'm gonna just trace over that whole line, just keep it in there. 
Okay, so then there's the lines of my building that should stay in. The rest of these green lines would then get erased, okay? Um, I am gonna trace over, I'm gonna continue this line over to the corner. That's gonna be my ground line, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing over here. This is gonna be my ground. So my next building is gonna bump up to that line as well, okay? All right, I'm gonna show you how to add in a few more buildings and then maybe how to add some detail to those buildings. <clears throat> okay, so um, I'm gonna draw a building next door that's a little bit shorter and then I'm gonna draw one over here that's a little bit taller, okay? So the building that's gonna be shorter, I'm actually just gonna borrow this line that's going down to vanishing point there. I'm gonna use that same one. So I'm just gonna start with a line up to my left vanishing point. The reason I'm going up into my left is because um, I'm on the left side of that building. And by the way, I didn't continue that line all the way there. Um, you guys can if you'd like to, but I'm just gonna kind of um, start leaving myself with a little less excess. Um, this guy should go down to vanishing point three. Again, this would normally go all the way down there, but since I know I'm not gonna have my building extend all the way there, I'm just gonna stop my line there. But if that line continued, it would continue all the way to vanishing point number three, okay? Um, the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that corner that I just created, and I'm gonna take it to my opposite side vanishing point. So since I'm working on the right, I'm oh, sorry, I think I was saying left earlier. Since I'm working on the right, I'm gonna take it to the left. This guy's gonna go to the left. It just happens to hit like right underneath where that building hits. Um, then I'm gonna trace over that building in black so you guys can see it a little bit better. All right, I'm just gonna outline this guy. And there he is. So there's the edge. That's my second building. Um, I'm also gonna do a building on this side. Um, oh, I know what I'm gonna do on this side. Instead of doing taller, I'm gonna do an alleyway first. So I'm gonna show you how to do a building with an alley. Um, okay, so this one I'm not even gonna do in the green. I'm just gonna start it out in the black because I'm gonna have all my lines on at the exact location I want them to. Um, the first thing I'm gonna start with is I need an additional line from vanishing point three. When you don't want an alley, you're gonna borrow this line. When you do want an alley, you're gonna start with a new line to vanishing point three. So I'm just gonna start with a line down to three. Stop when I hit that street line, just like my other buildings. Now basically this line is the same as if I were drawing this center line of this building. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the top and bottom to the right and left. You'll notice that the bottom is already connected to the left, so I have one line drawn in for me. I'm gonna take the top up to the left. I'm gonna stop this kind of short because I don't want my building to be too wide. If you wanted it to be wider though, you could just continue it further to that left vanishing point. Now I'm gonna take the top and bottom of this line over to my right. Um, <clears throat> my ruler isn't really long enough to reach. If you guys ever run into that problem, just kind of eyeball it. All right, line that guy up. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, so I've got the edge of that building drawn in. You can see this is the ground of the alley and that's the wall. Um, I'm gonna get, take one more line down to vanishing point three to complete the left side of my building. All right, now to complete the roof of my building, I'm gonna take that over to the right vanishing point, okay? Now this one is actually gonna go a little bit higher than the roof of my last building. So what's gonna happen here, oops, let me draw that again. So this one is gonna be a little bit higher than my last one. <clears throat> so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna have to draw an additional line from my left side to close that off where I want it to end. I'm actually glad it ended up that way so you guys could see what to do. There's a little gap here, but there shouldn't be. Um, so that's a building with an alley, a building without an alley. Now I'm gonna do a building that's taller. So remember, when you're starting any building, you wanna start with a line down to vanishing point three, okay? The only reason we didn't need to draw one on this one is because we were borrowing this line, all right? So I'm gonna start with a line from vanishing point three. I'm gonna have this building kind of coming out towards the side over here. I'm gonna shoot a line up above the horizon line. Now, whenever you have a line that goes both above and below your horizon line, or basically on your horizon line, you're not gonna see the top, you're not gonna see the bottom. It kind of makes it a simpler building, because basically I'm just gonna take my top, connect it to the left, connect it to the right. <clears throat> I'm only gonna go out as far as I want my building to go, so that's how wide I want my building to be. I'm gonna stop there. On this side, I'm gonna go a little bit narrower. Okay, and then I'm just gonna do two lines down to my bottom vanishing point. Remember, there are no verticals, so get the word vertical out of your brain, okay? There are only lines to vanishing point three, okay? Let me draw one on this side here. Okay, 
So that's a building back that way. Um, if that building by chance like hit over the side of the building and came down here, like let's say I drew a building right here and it came down, I would have to then take the bottom over to the left vanishing point here. So you'd have to like draw in kind of like both sides of that building. You just see more of it at all. Um, I'm going to go in and draw